Hey yo, my Planet Zoo friends, Johnny Five Live here, and I'm joined with Zalexor. Hello. Welcome back to another Planet Zoo contest edition. We're gonna be looking at reindeers and also a doll sheep. <laughs> so stay tuned and let's check them out. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everyone. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. We're going to jump right into things, starting with Twilight Park, created by Kingdom, one of our Discord master builders and golden patrons. And here they say, Habitat set us a wildlife sanctuary at a frozen lake, 2,500 square feet. Habitat boundaries by terrain and object placement has chain link fence in case the babies can sneak through. Animal satisfaction is 100%. Food enrichments are in place. Best suited for snowy biomes. Has an iconic winter cabin. Limited viewing platform set as a wharf that could be used when the lake water melts boom and here we are okay kingdom stop naming your stuff differently oh it's been driving me nuts every single submission is impossible to find from you like Na just just change the file name to what you're actually naming it because yeah it's, it's impossible to find among like 120 yeah things yeah that's a very, uh, strange staff room. Jeez. <laughs> it's really slippery, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, that's weird, because when we first looked at it, I thought this was it, and I was like, well, that's kind of plain. That sucks, that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. <laughs> <laughs> But here we go. This is the Twilight Park. <laughs> Less sucky on the inside. Um, good googly moogly. Yeah, this is really good. Hey, I see oh, uh, handrails. Nice. Not much of a viewing area. You come in and that's it. No shopping. No information. No seating. Just get in and get out. But the enclosure is fun. All this cracked, frozen yeah. lake. Yeah. Super cool. I don't, yeah, I mean, oh, it's a snowman. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. No. Get it. <laughs> the cabin's amazing. I love that. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's leaving a little bit to be desired, but I like the. Uh, I mean, it's quite realistic. It is. It's 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 comforting in here. I like it. Yeah. But I mean, it leaves a little bit to be desired in the fact that there's literally no shopping for the guests. You know, we've seen some pretty cool stuff done with cabins and Christmas stuff and, you mm. know, all that, you know, all the bottles. But this is also uh, part of the park he was working on, right? I don't think so. No. Okay. S no. Single submission. Okay. And we don't really uh, see a whole lot done with the staff. It's just a box so i mean there what, and what is that tower that radio thing that's pretty cool make that or is that a thing that comes with the game i haven't played for a while that's 104 okay. objects i mean yeah i love the actual enclosure itself um but i do wish there was more of a viewing platform or a place for the guests to go more information and more thingies you know but mm. uh there is the immersive factor is huge on this and yeah. the, the amount of work that you put into this snowy lake looks great. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Cabin's nice. Also at the cabin, yeah, the locks there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really nice. All right. Well, we have four in this episode, so we're going to have to move Ooh. it along and uh, check out the next one. Let's go. Uh, Reindeer Habitat by Lisa, one of our Discord builders. And here she says, this is my submission for the Habitat Challenge. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, a little bit of a backstory would be nice because uh, this is looking great. I'm going to have to just ramble a little bit so we can get a couple B-roll shots in here um, because there's quite... Oh, you're good at that, so yeah. no worries. Good at rambling? Yeah. yeah. Prof professional rambler. Oh, All right, let's they're... let's jump into it. They're Everybody, everybody's cold. cold. Or they're... Yeah, they're cold. That's okay. Yeah. Or they have corona. <laughs> <laughs> Stay at home, people. Yeah. Don't go out. So yeah, this whole Viking village to get the Christmas. It's it's Viking Christmas over here. This looks amazing. So, this is made after the DLC. Yes. After. It's quite fun. Yeah. 
No, I mean, he didn't have a lot of time. Yeah. Oh, right. I like the music and stuff going on here. <gasps> oh, I love this whole village. Yeah. Uh, if I remember correctly, Lisa was that one that never submitted anything and she was a little bit shy and we gave her a bunch of feedback. Oh, the, but this uh, this this seems loads better. You did a lot of work on this. Yeah. Compared to your last what was submission. that? I'm not sure anymore. Some big animal. Possibly. Oh, is that zebra? I don't know. I think it's hyenas or something. Um Okay, well, let's see the actual enclosure here. Oh. <laughs> hey, buddy. It's fun. Ooh. Looks a little bit ratty. It's gonna fall apart on them. <laughs> nah, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Big Viking barn. <laughs> Looks like it was made out of like Viking ships. I like it though. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I, the actual interiors is like a little bit. It leaves a little bit to be desired. It's very flat. There's no ter actual terrain. There's no water. There's no lakes or anything. I didn't know they could play with a <laughs> snowball. That's amazing. There's so much in this game that I don't know. I That's know. So it's sorry. pretty embarrassing. Whatever. Uh, it's fine. Kick the snowball. I think the hero of this is definitely the village. I like the way you did this. Yeah. It's really cool. Um... I mean, it feels like a Viking village. It's super neat. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah, I mean, what, what do you think, Zal, of the actual enclosure here? How, what would you yeah, do could differently? could have used a bit of uh, elevation, sure, yeah. but I do like the... Uh, I mean, the trees, it's not repetitive. And it's, mm -hmm. you know, I like the icy... Yeah, the ice wall's cool. I just don't know how kids are going to see anything from the break wall it's true it'd be pretty pretty tall <laughs> like <laughs> yeah it could have used some sort of upper viewing platform or something right yeah. mm -hmm. is yeah, it, is I, it, I, I feel really you like I, most i feel <laughs> really like bad the, for them now did you like the reindeer like <laughs> Uh, I feel like there needs to be something in there because like it they are watching but there there should be some programming where They're trying to jump see over you know what I mean? No. Okay, well we have two more to check out and we have another one fight Lisa So she's a double feature in this one. So two chances to win Woo! All right, <laughs> that's not rigged at all. It's not rigged. <laughs> it, it was an accident. We'll explain it when we get to the last one <laughs> Alright, it all. <laughs> all right, LM Terry 2, created by K Rombo, one of our master builders. And here they say, Hey, there I am again with the LM Tarid, but now I've added reindeer habitat. It's quite simple habitat, as is based off of the kind of reindeer farms in Finland. Uh, but I hope you like it. I have even tried to make some custom fencing. Have a nice day and cheers. All right, here we go. So the right was the bears and then here's wolves oh you know? right so we did Remember? see this so how do we find the reindeer oh it's there you're like top right up here yeah oh okay yeah we saw the other two areas in previous submissions mm. oh people can walk in what oh but it doesn't go okay. anywhere probably for the best I mean if you're gonna submit this even though you have plans to do something here I would definitely consider decorating still right yeah I mean that's something we said last time as well yeah because it's custom to your the custom fence is great park. yeah it is but you know because it's gonna be part of your park it's not really something that stands on its own mm-hmm 
Uh, so it's difficult. The snowballs in here. There's no snow. Yeah, you know we don't know those because we didn't play the DLC. So, you know. Right. Of course, I just thought. Of course, they weren't in the game. The uh, the it's terrain. A lot of rain here. The terrain is a little awkward, but I guess it works. Mm. There is a lot in here. Holy moly. Yeah, I mean, um, I think it's it's fun, but it's uh, to me it's just unfinished. I don't know. It's definitely unfinished, and there's nothing in, like yeah, you have benches and information, but there's nothing in terms of staff management, uh, guest shops, like all the different bonus stuff. In terms of a mini park, park enclosure, I mean, we can't really include anything else because you we judge that already for your other ones, right? Mm. This little shopping it food was, area is for that your was bears. Amazing. It was great, but it was for the bears. And yeah. there's not anything going on here for the reindeers other than this custom fence. It's a little underwhelming. Um, and some basic, like, shelters. So, yeah, I mean, a little underwhelming for me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, Same. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not much more to look at here. No, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, but it's uh, just the way it is. It is what it is. Yeah. So we have one more to check out. Let's move on to the doll sheep. Okay, doll sheep habitat created by Lisa, one of our builders again. And here she says, this is my entry for the doll sheep habitat challenge. I hope you enjoy. So you're probably wondering why are there doll sheep mixed in with reindeer? And why is Lisa- What is a doll sheep? I don't even know. Why it's, 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 a <laughs> ice, it's a, an Arctic sheep, I guess. So yeah, anyways, why is she featured twice? Why is there doll sheep mixed in? Well, in terms of what we have left in the contest, we have bison, giraffe, panda, and pangolins yeah so yeah, those are the animals that cause so, this whole so there there is <laughs> nothing else that is arctic dlc left in this contest so i had to put the doll sheep in with the reindeer to make it like an arctic episode right so it just so happened that lisa did the arctic the, the doll sheep and the reindeer and there are no, no other people who did the sheep so here we go she gets a double feature so hopefully you guys vote for one of her creations and she it's not rigged at all, but she does get a double chance of <laughs> a fifty percent chance rigged. of winning this contest or this. It's not rigged at all. <laughs> it's not rigged at all. Oh, comment of the year. It's pretty um, good. <laughs> it's only a fifty percent chance. But she still has to. Even if she goes into the next bracket, she's got to win the top ten, right? So. Yeah, that's true. And she's only one of her two creations has a chance of going on now. Whereas if mm -hmm. this was an entirely different episode, she'd have twice the odds of getting in the top 10. So yeah. in, in some cases, while she has more chances of she winning has, this, she has less chances of winning the top 10 now. She has two times 25% chance. <laughs> sure. <laughs> What's with the train up in the sky? Uh, so very similar to the reindeer one, but uh, I like yeah. this better. It almost feels like a fortress. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, you probably use those again. Right. Ah, okay. Like the builders, but then you made the big ones. So that's... Look how furry they are. Yeah. It looks so soft. They look cool. Wow. See the little guys. I like this building as well. They look really soft. <laughs> go get one. I want to go snuggle this one. Oh, this one's all scratched up. Oh. Shit. Poor guy. That's not good. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit plain. Big square. Nothing in there. Like, literally nothing in the, there. The wall. Yeah, same issue with the wall as you mentioned in the last one. And the wall is actually pretty far away, so... Yeah. You're not even gonna be able to Just go up. Just put in, uh, like, chain link, you know? Yeah. Chain link sure. fence would have been fine. This fortress is really cool. What do we have here? Yeah. Little trolley. Trolley lolly. Trolley lolly? What the heck? Let's let's see how many great cameras are on this one. Okay, that's basically the same. That's pretty cool. I like this one. Okay. Oh. That's neat. That's not too bad. No, not too bad at all. That's the same. Yeah, I don't know why these two are the exact same. The chase is pretty cool. Yeah, 
Yeah, I love the fortress in the back. Yeah. That's nice. Just, uh, gotta hold your kids. I think your reindeer one was better, um, especially even the enclosure. I mean, I, I don't know. I like this building better than your reindeer building. Mm -hmm. it, it looks more structurally sound, uh, more cohesive. And the village was a little bit bigger, more s sprawling in the other the one. But this one has the big fortress and the ride going around it. But the enclosure on this one is very dull. It's very, yeah. it's very dull. <laughs> dull. <laughs> dull <sheep>. uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Well, there you go. What is your... You. What? <laughs> it's the worst joke ever. Shut up! <laughs> anyway. It was a pun, not a joke. Anyways. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Vote on your favorite creation of the four. What did you guys like the most? Leave your comments down below for the creators and their creations. Be sure to hit the little button in the top right hand corner of the information to vote on your favorite of the four creations in this episode so they can go on to the final top tens. And uh, that's going to do it for us here today. In the next one, we're going to be checking out American Bison. So tune in for that, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye now. Bye now.